Dagens avsnitt är på engelska. Okej, okay, så so let's speak English. Today's episode is in English and we have the wonderful Philip Williams in the studio talking about his new upcoming release called Cooling Agent. We're going to do some deep analysis about the music, about the lyrics, about the history and everything else in between. Okay, let's go. All right. So this episode is in English, Philip. Yes, it is. English is your native language. My mother tongue. <laughs> <laughs> so why did I do that? Sorry. For the Swedish viewers, uh, we we come to share on här lite grann på engelska för att vi liksom bredda vyerna lite grann. So uh, I hope you are okay with that. So welcome back to the studio and to the to the video studio and to the music studio. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's always fun to be here. <laughs> so we have been working on song. Yes, we have. This yeah. is our seventh collaboration. Can wow. you believe that? Wow. Working for since 2016? 2016. Yeah. So it's like one song a year? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Pretty um much. Including my dad's song <laughs> that <laughs> yeah. he wrote and I was just in. <laughs> yeah. So I include that in our exactly. collaboration. The whole family, the whole Williams family exactly. participated in this gospel song. The gospel yeah. song, Marching into Rest. Yeah, yeah, so check that one out too while you're at it. <laughs> Since you're there. Exactly. So what we're going to do today is really to dig into the song, which mm -hmm. is called Cooling Agent. Yes. And you're going to talk a lot, lot more about the song, of course, and the meaning of the song and the thoughts behind it, of, of course. Yeah, this is a behind the scenes, our song exploder episode, if you will. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of those kind of shows out yeah. there. And I think this is a good way to not only promote our song, but also to uh, let people in the thought process and let people get to know us as artists. As exactly. Well. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So, uh, can you just, before we uh, uh, look at the video clip that you sent me, <laughs> which was like a first pr start, um, what do you call it, preview uh, thing about from the song, can you just uh, tell me what happened before that video clip? What, what, were you, what was your thoughts about this whole project? Okay, so I, if you listen carefully, you can literally hear my nephew. <laughs> in the video yeah, yeah. saying you are filthy mama or something like that I don't know uh, but um, yeah basically uh, I was out with him and just taking him to a park that's not far away from his grandparents place and so I was with him just kind of hanging out and enjoying a good little moment and so I was pushing him on the swing and sometimes when I'm with kids I just I basically start like talking to myself or mm -hmm. doing like funny little things mm -hmm. to, for my own enjoyment. I usually do that. I work at a school too, so yeah, I do that yeah. a lot. Everybody who knows that me knows that. And uh, so I just kind of came up with some sort of riff, I guess, or mm -hmm. like a hook. Mm -hmm. And I started going, and then I thought, you know what, let me just record this because I'm beginning to like it. Yeah. You know, and when, it came, when I kept on repeating it and coming up with like, this sounds like a certain era of music that I haven't done yet or ripped off yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and lately I've been on this kick of doing more retro sounds. And this was a sound that I truly enjoy in a lot of bands from the 80s. And that I felt like I want to throw my hat in the ring and say, hey, this is me attempting this kind of sound. And uh, yeah, so if you watch carefully, you can not only hear the beginnings of this song, but my little nephew in the background <laughs> off camera. Enjoy. <Okay. laughs> Let's roll the clip. Don't look at you, don't, doing what you gotta do. Gotta do, 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 do. Look at you, doing, doing what you gotta do. Okay, so now we are in the arrangement, in the logic session for the song yep. Cooling Agent. This is going to be interesting. A uh, whole new setup for me. It'll be fun to just discuss and talk about the creation of this song. So, uh, yeah, where do we start? What do you guys think, by the way? Comment below. What do you thought yes. of the little ridiculous opening? <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, we're going to put the pre-save link in the comments below. And then when the song is released, we're going to put, of course, the uh, the URL of the song and the Spotify link, of course. Of course. Yes. Yeah. So, well, let's just start from the beginning, shall we? Yeah. See what happens. There 
you go. There you Cozy go. night. Ah. Because I remember we talked about the first the first uh, melody, the first hook. Like that was something that came early, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, I, from the video that you guys saw, you could tell that I had that melody, and I felt like strongly we should introduce that melody, sans lyrics, just immediately. Okay. Um, and as you can tell, the lyrics of stayed intact from that point and I just kind of uh. adapted what the song was around it <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> weirdly yeah, yeah yeah okay so let's hit the first verse yeah cozy nights carefree days my deepest shame was hoping I feel like some way raised our brow open heart we were both honest with each other from the start The mixing is is incredible because Thank I love you. how the uh, how my vo vocals uh, and the harmonies come together uh, is really good. As you, and and here you have it. This is basically the pieces that I had in that video. Uh, now with actual intent behind the lyrics and not just me going jabu dabu day, uh, which is a little <laughs> yeah. better. And for you uh, audio nerds out there, as you can see. This is the three tracks that we recorded. Mm. They are uh, all lead tracks. They are uh, mostly exactly the same, but they have slight lit differences. So there, there are one. The first one here is really the lead lead, and the second and third is uh, the guys that are a little bit behind the lead singer. But everything is used all the time and mm. on almost all the all of the song. So. Um, Okay, so this, as you heard on the on the clip before the video clip, that was the the main uh, um, chorus part. But then something else came up, and we're gonna listen to that now. The the B part of the the chorus. Yeah. Want to see something about what what the song is all about? So or? yeah, so basically, um, I, like I said, the very beginning of me just making something up off the top of my head, the look at you doing what you got to do, that is that's just complete improv, and I had no intention behind it. Um, so after like uh, thinking about it and going, what what can the song be about? You know, I recently went through, I had a relationship and we both ended it um, mutually and it, it just felt like that, like, oh, boo-hoo, we've heard breakup songs before, right? Mm -hmm. And usually they're all about, like, someone feeling wronged or someone like, oh, we should get back together or, you know, like, and I wanted to tackle it from a different angle and so... First of all, this the most important thing was that I remained le like um, loyal to the soundscape that we were trying to make mm -hmm. with this sort of talking heads, sort of new wave 80s kind of sound that I really wanted to capture. And those have usually have that the guy who sings like this <laughs> so yeah you know uh, and I really wanted to capture that and at the same time I realized that's maybe uh, is that indicative of like oh baby you broke my heart maybe you know but also look at you doing what you gotta do it it made me feel that I am saying to the woman in question Look at you standing up and, and realizing that this isn't working and doing the making the hard decision mm -hmm. of bringing up the topic of maybe we shouldn't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, and from there, it kind of spun out and became a song about like healing after this because cooling agent, which 
is a weird phrase I've heard in numerous ways. I always thought sounded kind of funny, especially here in Sweden when you can say yeah. cooling. We can cooling, <laughs> you know. So cooling, and then agent, and agent has that like you know sexy quality of being a, a secret agent, James Bond, Ethan Hunt quality, you know. Mm-hmm. So. I, I wanted that vibe. That's why we have the the trumpets that descend, because I wanted to f- give that f- that dramatic mm-hmm. vibe of it. Um, and I also felt like uh, it also creates that this person was a hero, you know, for stepping up and doing the thing that maybe I was too chicken to do. Because mm-hmm. in in the vi- in the song, I'm 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 saying that there are parts of me that realize that maybe something's off, but it's like I refuse to really acknowledge it and mm-hmm. she is the one that steps up and acknowledge those those mm-hmm. faults and then we both make that decision. Okay. So I feel like it's a very personal mm-hmm. song yeah. but it keeps yeah. it upbeat and fun at the same time. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I I yeah. I think this is one of my more vulnerable songs in yeah, the sense yeah, yeah. that it's yeah. dealing with actual I'm being incredibly <laughs> sincere in and in mm-hmm. saying this this is how I f- was feeling and yeah. and uh and you know, big props to you <laughs> to, for inspiring this. Mm. Uh, so yeah, I really, I really feel proud of this one. Yeah. Uh, what do you? What are you? What are your takes from? No, but the the, the 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 sincerity is something that is so important. I I really love when people just speak from their heart. But then you can do that in many different ways. Of, of course. course, you can uh, use a song which has a fun uh, experimental vibe and do that or you can do it in a ballad which is really slow and dark but it's still to just to say something to tell some somebody out there something is really that means something to you to yourself yeah it's really uh, well that's that's what what it's all about I guess uh, yeah. when it comes to music and and yeah. it, anytime you make something that's quite frankly private public mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. it's it's always like a very um, a very naked feeling yeah, in a sense, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, so I felt like the only way for this to be of any worth is to truly go to those places yeah. and, and allow that to shine through. So Exactly. As you can hear later on in the Yeah, song. yeah. <laughs> so let's continue from the second verse, yeah? Here we go. See what happens. Can you uh, uh, explain the the red pin blue dot thing? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I, was I actually, believe it's wonderful. It's a, it's a brilliant thing. Uh, okay, so uh, one thing uh, that most phones have is a GPS. I'm red pin. You're blue dot. Which means you're you are the blue dot going towards the red pin. Mm-hmm. Uh, that you have a destination. Uh, and if if I see. It, whether it, there's no like indication whether or not I am like see myself as like I'm the destination you come to me mm-hmm. or whether it's literally just oh it was a long distance thing and you had to always come to me uh, which then weighed in on the relationship and made you f- perhaps feel like hey why am I always doing that mm-hmm. and that's why like what we need is for you and I to swap for you to be the destination and for me to do the journey towards you either way whether we take it literal or in an emotional level, I think it both works, yeah. and uh, and it's an interesting, or at the very least, I don't, not to wax po- poetically you know, or pat myself <laughs> on the back a lot. I just thought it was a very simple way in today's digital age to kind yeah, of yeah. say that and without being, you know, 
Like, That's brilliant. Yeah. I would never come up with a thing like that. No, it, it would. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, it's it's so cool. So so uh, modern. It's so uh, up to date and everything. So well, that's fun. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. fun to hear. Okay, uh, let's continue where we stopped uh, <laughs> in the middle of the second chorus. When the heart is like fire and the brain is hostile, no emotions are dire. Before we continue, what, oh, were you, yes. what, were you, what was your thought, the thought process between uh, from this point to the upcoming part? It's like it's, it felt like you you want to continue, but in another in another spirit, in another mode, in another feel. Yeah. So, um, well, first let's go back to this this middle bit that becomes where we say the actual cooling agent yeah. uh, title. Um, I I feel like I don't know when the herd is like fire. Cool. And the burn is all spent. Yeah, yeah. And though emotions are dire, no fooling, you're my cooling agent. Like, it, good. for some stupid reason, I think that's both like, uh, both like dramatic and f- and flashy, but at the same time, kind of simple and stupid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like in my like, no fooling, you're my cooling agent. It sounds kind of dumb, but in a weird way, it works. Mm-hmm. I, I kind of enjoy it. Mm-hmm. But the the part prior is so like over dramatic, and and it feels it, it feels like it really works in a song like this. Uh, and you know, and it's and it's a genuine thing. Uh, then I wanted it to switch it up because what comes next, what we're about to hear, is the quote unquote modern rap segment. <laughs> <laughs> I put it in quotes because I do not think of myself as a rapper at all, uh, or nor one that's any good. But I, I've been listening to a lot of, especially working at a school, you listen to a lot of the music that the kids are listening to. The kids today. <laughs> I have gray in my face, which means I'm old. I don't know if you noticed. Um, so basically, I, you know, you, you hear it and then you start to get a sense of what different flow sounds like nowadays. Mm-hmm. Because, like, you know, when rap started, it was very basic. Da, da, da. Mm-hmm. Doobie, doobie, doo, ba, ba, doobie, doo, ba. Exactly. Like, I don't know, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and not to say that I'm, like, uh, that old and I'm like, oh, I can only remember, you know, that. But... I I had this desire to kind of replicate that kind of flow, and there was a line that came out of nowhere, mm-hmm. and it was, um, uh, "Don't waste your regal features on a feeble creature." Wow, can you explain such that? as myself? Let's expand yeah. a little bit, maybe. D- don't waste your regal features. Uh, you're you're very elegant, and yeah. you almost you come across as royalty uh, to me. And why waste it on someone as as loathsome as myself is mm-hmm. basically what mm-hmm. I'm saying in there and when when those t- that rhyme scheme happened it just felt like whoa this is its own thing like it, it doesn't fit in the thing that we've been doing before mm-hmm. so I need to just like just cr- throw everything out the window start fresh and do something new and and so I just made this like its own thing mm-hmm. and from then on out it just it became a completely different song, which I absolutely adore. And by the end, I love that it that we go back to what was the song lyrically, but it has a completely different like swing to it. It's yeah, just a, yeah. a heavier like, and I'm like, oh. Oh, and it just makes me remo- remember. I remember my uncle banked. If that and then that makes no sense to anybody, but if you know bank, you know. And it just like this feels if like you know, you know. Yeah, and it's like this would have been this would have been something for him to hear. <laughs> That's so cool because we start the song in in four four, uh, for, and then this part is is going into six eight. But then when the chorus comes again, the chorus is in 6-8. And yeah, when, maybe we could just play it and you'll see. Yeah. And listen, maybe. Don't uh. don't waste your regal features on a feeble creature such as myself. And though it's hard, we take in charge, we play the cards that we're dealt. 
If I could make a statement that could break the payment I'd get lonely and scared This is the truth, you are the proof Made my heart better prepared I gotta just say, because yeah. in the very beginning, we, we had this idea of going, what if when it, before it starts, before I start saying anything, we have like a telephone ringing and somebody <laughs> pick it up, you know? And and like we had it in the song for the longest time. This, yeah, is, yeah. this is the reason why you watch this, this show. Exactly. Because you want to know the dirt. You want to know what we took <laughs> out, the deleted scenes. Uh, so we had this thing that was like, oh, it's as if there's a phone call happening. Maybe I'm calling to say this. Hey, hey, I think I have. Do you have I the original? Play <laughs> the first, uh, let's see, over the, here you can see. It's this is an exclusive, guys. Exactly. It's an exclusive. Not on Spotify. Yeah. This is the muted uh, part. <laughs> it's still here. So let's As see. you can see on the screen here. Okay, hold your horses. Hello? Oh, wait. It's ringing. Don't do with your regal features. And so forth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. When, when we, after <laughs> listening to it so, a whole bunch of times now, and I usually do this, I listen almost like an entire day. I just mm -hmm. on repeat to try to listen to every little detail and how I feel and, and do I start singing along and do I come up with something new on top of what I'm listening to? Because let's face it, if you're a music fan, you probably kind of like, you sing along with your favorite songs mm -hmm. and then you add like a... Uh, L like a harmony yeah, to yeah. your favorite singer. Yeah, yeah, I do that all the time. And then with this, I was like, if I if I found something, then and I'm the singer, maybe I should add it to the song. So anyway, w I listened to this and I realized we did this before. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. kind of did this before. Yeah. In is it possible? Which we can show a clip of now. <laughs> Isn't that right? We just came back from it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Is it possible? Also available on Spotify. Give that a listen. This is featuring my sister, both Laquan and Doriel. Shout out to my sisters. I love them. So after realizing that we did that, it was like, well, this was stupid. We can't just repeat ourselves. And then we said, what if we took the word don't and just had it kind of repeat? And in a way, it accidentally became like, so, subtextual context, if mm -hmm. you will, mm -hmm. where it would be as if maybe my character in the song knows the breakup is coming mm -hmm. and is saying, don't, 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 yeah. don't, don't, please don't. And then when I finally start to talk, it's like, don't waste your, re like, I, I accept it and I understand this is how it is. Mm. Um, yeah. And uh, I, yeah, I think that was, it was a fun little bit of like, we went one way, decided to go somewhere else and created something new that exactly. fits even better. And I, yeah. I really enjoy that. So you were really inspired by your old songs. It was like, let's try this cool <laughs> thing. And then it's like, well, that was our own song <laughs> that <laughs> we, we, we ended up with inspir inspiration from. So. Yeah, or rather, yeah. I'm just a hack who just has one <laughs> idea that I do over and over. <laughs> and then I go, oh, wait, <laughs> what? I'm an idiot. What was I thinking? That was pretty much it. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's now, listen to the last part of the song where the go. chorus comes in with uh, when the chorus comes in with another feel. You feel that? Yeah. Come on. The year is 1987. I love that. I love that you added that. <laughs> it's so pompous. <laughs> okay, let yeah. me just say, first of all, oh my god, let me just say, you adding the the ba 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 <laughs> that was such a stroke of genius <laughs> and i have no idea where it came from but it not only does it fit it enhances and it gives me this and i and it's told you before that that this song gave me a bit of a 80s uh david bowie vibe yeah, yeah, yeah. and and when you did that this was after i told you i think uh, yeah. that it gave me exactly this like it just it made me feel of like this, this, you know, the, the, the vision you get of like that era of Bowie 
performing on stage in that bum, 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 and him just strutting <laughs> and like, huh! and I and I was just like, good God, this is exactly what I want. Wow. And it adds so much to the song and makes it that much more. It's it's preposterous at the same time of being perfect. I I, I don't know how to Wow. The motions, I, I love the way you sing the, you know, it's like very, I don't know how you say it, straight up with your body, it's like emotions, da, da, da. so I just love it. It's the nice. bird is so spent. <laughs> yeah, because like I said, I'm imitating that kind of uh, yeah, vibe yeah. from new wave uh, 80s acts and bands and stuff, and this feels like it's such a... This feels like every every song that we do, I envision sort of live. And this one has, hands down, feels like it's the most fun to do live, yeah. where it feels like there's going to be this band just rocking out and having a good time and mm -hmm. me just strutting and, and really having fun performing. Because there's, there's something about how confident and cocky mm -hmm. the this song comes across while actively saying the opposite mm, in a yeah, way yeah, where it's yeah. like instead of being I did the right thing exactly. I'm the best it's actively going no you did the right thing mm -hmm. you're the best and I appreciate how you took care of me yeah yeah and, but at the same time with the vibe of like totally dick swinging yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> excuse me I, I love it when you have this like controversy inside yourself when you say something loud but the lyrics is small or mm. the other way around it's, yeah. it's beautiful there's a juxtaposition there that, that I think works for the piece and yeah. I can't sound any more pretentious than I just did there you go Art nerds. <laughs> Pretentious. For you. So is there anything more you want to say about the song and it's uh, how it's built? And uh, I think we got it pretty much all covered. I think we truly did. Yeah. I think we have most of the lyrics that are we've talked about. We've talked about some of the details in the production. Yeah. Um, I, I was really, like I said, I was looking for that new wave sound that has this... Um, Sort of like the whole of the moon is a great song. Yeah, because you have some pretty interesting references to the song. Yeah. Uh, and like there's a band called, uh, I don't know how they found me. Uh, I don't know how, but they found me. Uh, is uh, That's the name of the band. Is the name of the band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, they had a song that I just happened to follow, come across. And that also kind of hit me with like, oh, this is that style that I mm -hmm. like, you know? Mm -hmm. And they are a new band, but they really sound, and that video in particular just looks like it came out at that time mm -hmm. and has that vibe to it that I'm just like, yeah, this is good stuff. So really shout out to, to that as an inspiration. And uh, yeah, I, I feel really good about this song. I'm proud of all the work we've done. Yeah. This is our seventh collaboration. I don't see myself going anywhere else <laughs> as at the moment uh, because this has been just a lovely experience and every time working with you has been Thank you. quite honestly Thank you. Thank you. Uh, an eye opener and we've done some really good things. I really hope that people who are watching this uh, just like not only pre-save and actually listen to the song and and put it on one of their favorite playlists, but yeah. also listen to all the songs that we've done before. Yeah. And if you're in the position to go, hey, we need a new act yeah. to perform somewhere, let us know because this it would be fun to really truly perform these live. Yeah. Because uh, I think that that takes it to an element outside of what we've been doing so far. Yeah. And, uh, and just one thing that I want to add here uh, from the the video clip because you were very clear about your. Uh, your ideas, your your uh, initial ideas about the song and where you wanted the song to be, and that made my process a lot more easy. Yeah. And because you had the the melody, the melody from uh, in the chorus, the entire thing was it was it was finished, it was clear, it was I wanted this way, and that makes everything else oh, a lot easier, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Take note, everybody who wants yeah. to work with this. 
Please this do. wonderful guy. Also, it wasn't always that way. Sometimes I show up and I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> On a past songs, yeah, I'd be like, yeah. yikes, where where does this go? I mean, yeah. And you just have a writing's block, but that kind of, it comes and goes sometimes. Comes and but goes. This exactly. one was exceedingly easy and it feels very much like God just going here. Here's a finished product. Now you guys yeah. go with it and have fun. You yeah. Know? I really enjoyed it. Okay, so now you've watched the the behind the scenes, the analysis, the 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 uh, the reaction, the self reaction ooh, ooh, to. I know, the, I know what we should yeah. call it. We should call the show Analyze Mix. Analyze Mix. <laughs> that's a good one. That's Is that a good one? Yeah. I don't know. I just off the top of my dome. Maybe that's good. Maybe it's bad. Uh, yes, if you're new here, please do him a favor, like and subscribe, and comment below if you want to know more about the process here. Please do that, because that would help the algorithm and uh, would be helpful to you, who would love to learn more. I'm Philip Williams, and this is... <laughs> I don't know why I just wow, took over this, like I that. I just go away. That's <laughs> wonderful. No, but you're, you're totally right. The 16th of June, the song will come out on Spotify and right. etc. And But you can today... Uh, click on the pre-save link in the comments and just pre-save it because you you, yeah. you want this song for summer. Exactly. This is yeah. a song that I think will be a fun little bop to, to ride in your car while you're on your way to the beach. Mm -hmm. So please do us a favor. Go into that uh, link in the description below. Pre-save this. Add it to your playlist. Make sure it gets in a heavy rotation and let your friends know about this song. It'll help out a lot and it would make me feel like a superstar. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Philip. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Like I say in all of my videos over at my channel, Yeah. I hope you remember me when you become rich and famous. I'll See put the later. link on you to your channel as well on the description. Oh, cool. Thanks. No worries. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.